All right, good evening, everyone. Um, in adult fitness, my name is Matt, and I'm going to be doing a stretch and balance routine for you all today. Um, for this, you won't need really any equipment. I've got a chair that you are going to use for a couple of exercises, but if you have an exercise ball or um, resistance bands that you want to add to this routine, feel free to do so. To start, we're just going to do some side-to-side -side steps. Getting the blood flowing. You should have just done a warm up, but we're going to keep doing some more of activity just to keep that blood flowing and going throughout us today. The whole point of the stretch routine is to just get all your muscles feeling activated, stretched out, blood flowing. And with this side to step routine, we're going to do a tricep stretch. We're going to bring our hand up and over our head, touching our other shoulder blade behind. As you can see on my back, and if you want to push this a little bit deeper, you can get your other arm, bring it just underneath your elbow, and push a little further. Nice, and we're going to hold this static stretch for just a little bit. And keep it going, pushing to a point of stretch, not to a point of strain, right? You don't want to injure the muscle. And for four, three, two, one, you're going to disengage, bring both your arms down, shake them out a little bit, and then do a tricep stretch on the other side, bringing your arm up over your head and behind. And then if you're, if you're feeling up to it, getting your other arm below the elbow and pushing down just a little bit further. And you're gonna hold this for the same amount of time. I'm going for about 20 seconds on each. To keep that muscle stretched out, lengthen. Just overall engaged. Nice. Keep it going with these side steps. And we're going to hold for four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Disengage. Shake out the arms. Now we're going to do a shoulder stretch, bringing your arm across your chest, the other arm tucking underneath. And cradling this arm, grabbing your shoulder, keeping it engaged. Nice. I'm gonna hold this static stretch for about the same amount of time. For those of you that don't know, I'm using the word static. Static just means you're kind of maintaining, keeping a stretch in place. Dynamic stretches, which we'll have some of those in this workout as well. When you stretch is when you're moving. Um, and, and the difference really is the static stretch is when you hold, dynamic stretch you move. Um, typically, you do dynamic stretches more at the beginning of a workout. Three, two, one, disengage and switch. And some static stretches you'll typically do kind of closer to the end. These are going to be mixed out throughout the entire routine because this is a stretch and balance routine. So, where I feel a static stretch is appropriate, we'll have some static stretches. And where I feel dynamic stretches are appropriate, we'll have dynamic stretches. But overall, the goal is to kind of just have these intertwined with each other so that you've got a good flow and a nice routine that makes you feel really stretched out. And three, two, one, go ahead and disengage, shake out. And from here, we're going to move into a march in place. And we're going to do a straight arm chest opener. So you're going to have your arm behind your back, interlacing your fingers, and you're going to pull them out behind you like this, opening up that chest. Nice. And I'm going to take some deep breaths in and out. Really take advantage of having your chest cavity open so that you're able to better breathe. Really feeling that stretch. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and disengage. Bring your shoulders forward. And from here, we're going to do a bicep stretch. That's very similar. Keeping the arms behind the back. We're actually going to hold them up at the elbows, tucking your thumbs. And you're going to then lurch forward on your upper back until you feel some stretch in your bicep. Another way you can do this as well, if you've got a wall nearby, doing the march in place. 
you can grab the wall and you just pull out like that. Add some movement into your stretch. You go side to side. Whatever you're feeling comfortable with for your workout. If you stuck with the static stretch, which is this one, you're gonna disengage. Three, there you go. And from here, we're just going to get out of our marking place, shake out our legs, shake out our arms. So from here, you've got the option to use the chair. So I'm gonna put that in front of me. We're gonna do some leg swing stretching. So you going to stretch your legs out to the side, just going forward. If you decide not to use the chair, adding a little bit of a balance component in there. There we go. And you can also use the chair and do a calf pulse on the other side, which is basically you're doing calf raises on your tippy toes, going up and down on the balls of your feet. Um, on each swing, so that way you'll feel some stretch on your calf, on the leg that's pulsing, and on the leg that's swinging, you're getting those abductors and abductors. And we're going to go ahead and switch, bring it out, and you can either do the pulses, or no pulses, just swinging out the leg, or if you're feeling really up to it, going with no chair for assistance. If you're doing this, make sure you also use your arms to kind of help balance yourself and focus on a point in the distance. Sorry, it's the only one seeing probably have my face right now. There you go. Um, I got like a little point marked off on the opposite side of the wall and I'm focusing on that. And it's kind of helped me with these swings. Three, two, one. Um, but focusing on a point in the distance is really going to help with those balance uh, components to the exercise. And from that, we're going to do some tuck ins and outs. So what you're going to do is one leg, you're going to tuck in, and then extend yourself out. Put that leg down, tuck in, extend yourself out. Nice. And this stretch is going to get your core and from your erector spinae, and if you on this extension out, you're actually extending all the way down from your leg up to your arm, getting your transverse abdominis as well. There we go. Bit more of a dynamic stretch for you. Nice. Keep it going. You could also, you don't have to. Stay in this balanced routine, you can actually put your foot down on the ground if you like. But whatever you're comfortable with for your core, your daily stretch routine. Nice. Let's go for two more on each side. That's four. Three. Two, and last one. All right, nice. So last standing stretch that we're going to do for this portion is the inverted hamstring. Um, you can use a chair for assistance if you'd like, but you're going to slightly bend down on one knee and bend forward to the point where you're starting to feel some stretch in your hamstring. You can use a chair for balance, or if you don't want to use a chair, find a point of distance that you can focus on. Keep your gaze there. We're just going to hold. Also, put your foot down and bring it up. Kind of pulse the other leg. Get the glutes a bit. Nice. We're going to hold for three, two, one. Go ahead and disengage. And engage with your other leg.
we were trying to pulse on the other side. I'd say balance is kind of all about making things equal on either side. So I encourage you to try and match where you were balancing earlier. So if you're using the chair earlier, use the chair on the other side of, of this exercise. Or if you're pulsing earlier um, on this inverted hamstring, pulse on this side of the inverted hamstring. And keep going for three, two, one. Go ahead, disengage. Nice. You got this bit of sweat going. Bring yourself a little bit of a sit down. Bring the chair over. So sit down, get some water if you need it. If not, you can kind of keep going with, along with me. And we're going to start with knee extension. So you're going to be sitting up straight, nice and tall on this chair. You're going to extend your leg forward and then point your toes inwards towards your other leg. You should feel the stretch kind of in the back of your calf and along um, the side of your leg. Two of the quad muscles will be engaging uh, into the knee and you're going to disengage and you're going to get the other side. Stretch and twist. Nice. Keep going. Just disengage. Stretch and twist. If you have resistance bands, you can resistance band this exercise. So a little bit more of a harder modification. If not, this probably suits your knees. It's a great knee strengthener. We'll show this in physical therapy sometimes. And let's go ahead and get one more on each side. Alright. Last one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. And here we're going to do a pelvic tilt. So sitting up in the chair, you're going to tilt the pelvis back, kind of punching forward. And then you're going to tilt back, sitting in the chair. Tilt the pelvis back this way. This way you're getting your hip flexors and your lower back. Nice. Keep going. Feel that stretch throughout your body and your back. Use your chair for support. And I'll just go ahead and get one more back. Forward. Nice. And then forward. Alright, there we go. We'll go ahead and move this chair now. And we're going to move on to the floor. Oh, let me see if you all can see me. Perfect. Alright, so, um, we're actually going to start in a tabletop position, my bad. Um, so we're going to start in a tabletop position, going into a downward dog from the chair. Just like this, where you're basically making an overbent banana from your arm up through your back and back down. And you want to make this a little bit more of a challenge where you actually get some calf work in there, you can just lightly pulse, making 90 degree angles from your ankle, the back of your knee, and up into your glutes. You can kind of see here, it's 90 degrees. And you keep pulling for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring your knees down so that you're in a traditional tabletop position. Then we're going to do some cat cows here. So for cat cows, lurch them forward, making your cow, and then you lurch them back up, stretching out your erector spine, bringing your head in, and you your calf. Remember to breathe during this exercise. I find that stretching um, can be really beneficial with getting the blood flow throughout your body. If you're remembering 
and take those nice steady breaths. Um, a lot of times you'll see stretches and cool downs and in warm up because they're really good for getting blood flow. So taking those deep, deep breaths, you're getting more oxygen into the body and getting more blood flow. Alright. And let's go for one more cow and then one more cat. Keep it going. Alright, and from this cat pose, you're just going to move slightly backwards and into a child pose. So you're going to rest your head down on the ground. We're going to get our transverse abdominis by moving one arm over, crossing over, remembering to breathe, folding, staying steady with the static stretch. And three, two, one. Go ahead, bring that arm back to center. And then you're going to cross over again. Nice. Remember to breathe steady. Hold. Keep it going. And three, two, one. Go ahead and disengage. And we're going to roll over onto our side and then onto our back. And we're just going to roll out. You're going to bring your arms, bring your legs slightly up, grab your foot with your knees, and open up the hips. That helps you can roll your shoulders, really back, almost like a pinch of pencil. So flip that chest and really just open up your whole body. Make yourself a book. Doing red and close. Nice. Go ahead, you're gonna bring your knees as close as you feel comfortable towards your stomach. And you're gonna roll side to side. Just like that. Rolling out the back to this point. Remember to breathe. Enjoy this nice, steady pose. And three, two, one. Go ahead, bring those down. And we're going to bring our legs all the way down. And do something called open and close gates, where you're going to bring your legs up. Got it with your hands. Going to open the gate, bring it over to the side, grab with your hands, and if you want to get a bit more of a glute stretch in here, you can cross over, extra close the gate, there you go, and bring it back down, and dive all the way back down. Go ahead, bring this leg up then, open the gate by coming out to the side, and Remember in the match, cross over. That crossover of the gate is optional. Um, I just started with it to, to show you a way you can further this stretch, make it a better glute stretch for you. But you can just open the gate and then guide it back to that center position. And you guys back down to the floor. Alright. Open. Super close. And bring it back and drag it down. Let's get one more on each. Let me breathe. Nice. Alright. Jack in here. Gonna slowly get sit up. We're gonna do a Barbie stretch. You're gonna bring your leg, cross it over your other leg, bring your elbow onto the side of your knee. Really stretch and twist. Feel this in the side, you know, 
and keep holding and breathing. Keep going. Three, two, one. Go ahead and get to the other side now. All right. Back in the same stretch. Keep it going. Keep holding steady. You're doing great. And three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Now we're going to do a bit of a balance work here. It's going to be on your knees, on your shins. This is called a shin release. It's important you're going to keep the back straight. Have hands down behind you. You're just going to stretch out like this, rolling the shoulder blades towards each other, keep pinching, really stretching out that core. Nice. You have an exercise ball. Um, there's an option where you can put your hand behind your head, or if you want to use a chair for support. Um, otherwise, I suggest really using your hand behind your back, being, uh, being really close to it. I'm going to keep that straight back, and then you're going to ease up. One last child pose that stretches forward. Alright, I'm going to go stand up. Nice. Get yourself a drink of water. We're going to move into one last balancing position while we're standing. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites, the tree pose. Where you're going to bring a foot up and either above your ankle and below your knee um, on your lower leg or bringing it above your knee, you're going to maintain this balancing position, focusing on pointing the distance. You can use a chair for support if you need. If not, hold your arms out or at your side, whatever keeps you steady. Really taking this opportunity while you're open up like this, breathe in and out. In and out. Now while you're in this position, you're probably, you're probably noticing um, exercises, they could have been easy for you, they could have been harder for you, but they did get you sweating and moving in ways you probably weren't used to. Um, I think you should really take solace from the fact that you just did an amazing workout and appreciate what you just did for your body. Exercise is one of the greatest things possible. Um, just physiologically, it creates so much for your body. Um, again, and to end this, you bring your hands up over your head, and touch the fingertips, take a deep breath in, and as you release, bring your arms and your legs down. And remember what I said earlier about balance, wherever you were before, try and match, so if you're here, Try um, between your ankle and your knee, try and match there. Or if you're above the knee, remember not to go directly on the knee, uh, try to match there. But as I was saying, exercise is one of the greatest things you can do for your body. There's so many research articles out there showing all the positive effects about exercise. And by doing this, you're creating great habits. Keep it up. I applaud you all. All right. Go ahead, breathe in and out, and bring your hands up over our head, getting our fingertips to touch. Take a deep breath in. And out. 
And as we release, we'll bring in our arms and our leg down. So shake out your arms, shake out your legs, shake out your whole body. Just enjoy movement for a little bit. There you go. And thank you all for joining me for this stretch and balance routine. I hope you found it really fun and helpful. And see you hopefully in the future. Bye.